What's happening everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top and welcome to a new and exciting projector review. Today I'm excited to review a new type of projector that has recently hit the market and it's one of the first that comes pre-installed with a certified version of Netflix with HDR10 and Dolby Audio. It boasts of having 800 anti lumens with autofocus, auto, vertical and horizontal keystone correction and the ability to produce a super bright display in well-lit rooms. This is the Zimmer Q1 Pro HD 1080p Netflix certified full-size vertical standing high-end projector. Now, this projector is not cheap but guarantees value for money. So in this review, I'll put this model to the test and let's see if its display and features live up to our expectations in relation to its price. So don't go anywhere, you have that right after this. So the Q1 Pro has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p. It has a brightness of 800 ANSI lumens. It has a contrast ratio of 11,000 to 1. Its light source is LED and its display is LCD. It comes with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage, dual band AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth audio feature. 30,000 hours of lamp life, Dolby Audio dual super bass speaker design, and it has autofocus and auto keystone features. So in this package contains the Q1 Pro model itself, one infrared remote control, a 19 volt 3.2 amps 120 watts DC power supply, and an AC cable for the power supply you don't get an HDMI cable. For design, at the front you have its intake vent, a front facing camera and sensor for its autofocus and keystone feature and its glass coated lens. Tooth ray has one HDMI input, one USB 2.0 port, a rear facing IR sensor, a headphone jack, its DC power input jack, its exhaust vent and its internal speaker. At the top has a single power button with an LED indicator. And below has four anti skidder rubber feet and a screw mounting hole for mounting to a tripod. So the first boot up process includes a simple Zimmer splash screen followed by the option to select your screen position. And this is where it will perform its first autofocus calibration. Then you have a first startup wizard to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Then you are given the option to log in to your Netflix subscription. You are then presented with the main menu. So I'm currently at 8 feet 2.4 meters and from this distance it produces a 72 inches display. So this is its main menu and it's running on a Linux based operating system. On the home screen, you get streaming apps such as Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube. They have included Facebook and Twitter, a web browser, a kids free streaming portal, a free live TV channel similar to Zumu called Tiki Live and an app store. If you open this section here, you have your mobile screen mirroring options and if you press the up arrow or the menu button on the remote, you'll gain access to its settings area and input source selector. So this is its settings area and under setup, you can choose from 42 various languages. You have date and time settings, screen saver options, sleep timer and auto sleep options. You can update its firmware via USB. You also have OTA updates. And the final option is to restore to its factory default settings. Under picture mode, you can choose from a selection of presets or you can use your own custom user settings. Under audio options, you can choose from a number of audio presets or you can set your own treble and bass using the user option. It has a surround sound audio switch, 
Dolby Audio Output Options, Text to Speech Voice Options, and a Dialogue Enhancement feature. Under Projection is where you'll find your projection direction for front and rear projector placement, which also includes mounting to a ceiling. Under Network Options, you can connect to your 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands. Under the Keystone option, you can manually trigger the Auto Keystone feature, and you can adjust its 4-point corner Keystone correction feature. You can also disable its Live Auto Keystone feature. You have Digital Zoom Settings. Under Focus, you can manually trigger the Auto Focus feature, you can adjust its digital focus manually using the up and down arrows on the remote, and you can disable the autofocus on startup feature and the live autofocus feature. Under Bluetooth is where you can connect to Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones, and audio receivers that have a Bluetooth feature. And under the About section, you can view its Netflix ESN serial number its firmware version info, its license info, and you can change its device name. So one of the primary selling points of this projector is its built-in certification to play Netflix and Prime Video in HD with Dolby Audio. Simply open each of these apps and log in with your username and password and stream movies and TV series directly without the need for a streaming device connected via HDMI. Also, the internal speaker system used in this model is one of the best I've heard in a long time. The audio system is so good that you don't need to connect an external Bluetooth speaker or AV receiver. The treble and bass and the Dolby Audio emitting from the speaker is that good. Let's take a listen. between orcs and humans for as long as can be remembered. But there was once a time when we did not even know who our enemy was. Or what that evil green magic befell had done to us. For playing videos via its USB port, you are limited to 1080p videos only. 4K HDR videos will not play and for built-in surround sound decoders, it can only play Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital Plus videos. It cannot play DTS HD Master Audio, DTS X, Dolby Surround or Dolby True HD videos. Every night, I dream the same dream. These hands were once used for battle. Now they're but humble tools for peace. I need to figure out exactly who I am. For watching images in a loop that comes in handy at events such as parties, family gatherings, weddings and funerals, you simply browse to the folder containing your images, select the first image and click the play button. The pop-up menu allows you to control the speed of the transition, its orientation, zoom and looping options. This firmware does not have an Office Documents application, so you cannot view or edit Office Documents. 
For mirroring your mobile devices, it comes with a screencast application for mirroring your mobile devices via Mirrorcast. And it also comes with a home share feature that allows you to share your devices via your local network such as Windows, Android and Apple devices. To mirror your mobile phone, open the Screencast application and on your mobile phone, scan using your mirroring app for the Zimmer name ID and pair to it. The official screencasting feature that works with Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube from your mobile phone is also available. On a movie or video, simply tap the screen and press the casting icon and the respective app will open on the projector allowing you to navigate and control this menu using your mobile phone. For connecting streaming devices via its HDMI port such as the Google Chromecast or Amazon Fire TV devices, it's compatible with the HDCP 2.3 encryption on the Chromecast, so it can play Netflix and Prime Video and many others in HD with audio. So for a maximum display quality and a sound test, I will now play a 4K HDR AV1 video using an Android TV box. So the display is of a very high quality with the 4K video downscaled to 1080p. It's got really sharp edges and its focus is evenly distributed across the display without blurring out to the edges. For those interested in gaming, here I connected my gaming PC via its HDMI port. For connecting your Bluetooth speakers, headphones and AV receivers for that cinematic experience while watching movies and playing games, you simply open the Bluetooth settings and scan for your device and connect to it. Its internal cooling fan from a distance of 1 meter generates 43 decibels of noise which is on the quieter side in my opinion. In summary, I really like its modern features such as its motorized autofocus and auto keystone feature, its Netflix certification and compatibility with devices such as the Google Chromecast with audio, and most of all, I really love the power, treble and bass of its internal speaker along with the Dolby Audio feature. I'm not a big fan of its infrared remote as it does not allow you to use Bluetooth controllers or controllers via USB. 
So if you would like to get your hands on one, please be advised that this is the high-end model and is not cheap. However, you can get 5% off using my exclusive TV Box Up coupon code which I placed in the description directly below this video along with a product link. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video or the information contained was of value, then do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button to show some support. If you are only tuning in for the first time, then I urge you to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.